Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. <clears throat> I apologize I haven't posted in a couple weeks. Your boy has been dying. Caught like a flu and then a cough. It's been a mess. But anyway, I've got a really nice bunkhouse travel trailer for you. It is the 2022 Delaterra 312BH. And this is a very unique floor plan. The back bunk room is awesome with a ton of sleeping. It's got a ton of storage just inside the door, which I'll show you here in a moment and an outdoor kitchen. I think it's one that you're going to like. Uh, as always, if you guys want to, down in the description, my contact information, so that way you can get some pricing or get a hold of me in general, and the specifications for this camper. But um, yeah, today I'm going to take you on about 10, 15 minutes on the inside, a couple moments on the outside, show you a couple things that I think are pretty cool uh, about this camper. And again, it's a 2022 East to West Delaterra 312BH. Hope you guys like it. Hit that like and subscribe a Rooney. And uh, yeah, let's just have a really good time. So right when you walk in, I'm gonna flip around here. You got this entryway, <coughs> ah, killing me. So right here, you got this nice little, uh, you know, you got this closet with your little octopus buddies right there, sitting there smiling, having some googly eyes, waiting for a coat, you know, to be hung up there by its little tentacles. But you got plenty of storage there. You also got a little nook underneath, you know, for some shoes. But then right here, you got a pretty versatile little space as well. You know, this would be, uh, for my family, this would be a pantry. I would probably go ahead and tie up a couple, uh, you know, those little bungee nets, you know, right there. But some really good storage already in this. And you haven't even walked more than, you know, three feet into this camper. Uh, so pretty neat. Yeah, then this can also be hidden by this door, kind of when you're in day mode um, for this back bunk room. Since it's a bunk model, I figure I'll show you that first. I just want to give you a good little view here of that right there. But yeah, so now back in this bunk room, uh, there's a couple cool things. One, outlets are always an issue, you know, for just about every single travel trailer on the planet. Out outlets and storage. This one's got an absolute ton. So you got your two USBs, you got your two outlets over here. Not only do you have a ton of sleeping with a bed that pulls out and obviously, you know, this nice little bunk room with a window, but you have another set of two USBs right there. Charge all the devices that you need. As we swing around, we have two more bunks. So there's four sleeping spaces down here. You got a ton of storage, which I'll open up here in a moment, you know, under there and to the left, but you also have a couple more windows. And just check out all these outlets again. Each bunk has its own designated hookup, you know, for the kiddos, or maybe that Funkle that's just crashing with you and chilling. But you got two more outlets, two USBs, a place right here with a backer to hang up a TV with two outlets and a little cable outlet. You're also gonna have down here on this bottom bunk, two more outlets, two more USBs. So this thing is loaded with hookups, which is just awesome. You know, keep the kids out of your hair on those rainy days. You know, you never want to hear all that arguing, and I guarantee outlets are going to start one of those goofy fights that just ruins a trip. But like I said, you got the window here, emergency exit right here. So if something goes crazy and you can't make it out the door right there for whatever reason, you know, you just pull, push, and pop, and, you know, you're out of this thing in a jiffy. So... With this bunk being lifted up a little bit, not only are they able to get that outdoor kitchen here on the underside of this bunk bed, but <clears throat> you are also able uh, to get some good storage right there. So, pretty cool, pretty neat. I'm loving the storage on this camper. It's definitely more than most. Loving the outlets, definitely more than most. Um, that right there. Jackknife, you saw how easy that was uh, to use. Right there, you're sleeping one, maybe two small kids. Over on this wall, you have more storage. You got three of these compartments, all of which are really nice depth and width. So I'm six feet tall with average arms, even though they are beautiful. Check out that little muscle right there. It's because I go bowling twice a week. Six-time league champ, we're not messing around. Yeah, yeah, a lot of good storage there. You also got a place for a little bit of natural light uh, right there. Get yourself a little air circulating. 
Now that brings us into kind of this kitchen living room. Uh, we already saw the pantry, you know, in that closet right there. But right here, you got yourself, you know, a really nice size TV for the camper. And what I do like about the TV is it actually sits across from your main seating. So that's always a plus. Typically, you know, the, the TV is kind of like at like a super angle. And it's just one of those things where you got to crick your neck to watch it. But this camper's got it going on with that. You have all your control panels right here. Slide one, slide two, awning, lighting, water pump, water heater. You know, everything that you need as far as to see if, uh, you know, your tanks are full, if they're empty, your battery life, all that good stuff. If you want to see what that's about, you know, battery right there. Boom, you can see that's full. You're ready to go. Your Furion sound system. So that's going to be how you control, you know, your, uh, your sound. You also have a place for an HDMI cord, aux, and USB, so plug in a DVD player. You also have this really nice 31 inch Greystone uh, electric fireplace. If you're not familiar with this or if you haven't owned a camper with one before, that is essentially an extremely hot or extremely uh, fancy, you know, electric fireplace. I think it's roasting on a day where it's 45 degrees out, you know, like it is today here in Ohio. Uh, that's going to be all the heat that you need for this entire camper for sure. So, <clears throat> right here, you got yourself. The couch, you also have, makes it another little jackknife for you, so you can sleep, again, another one to two people, depending on, you know, the size of them. Ah, there you go. You got these nice, tall, high-wide slides, which allows you to put in these really nice-sized tinted windows, so if you have a good view over there, I mean, look at all the space that you have, you know, just to kind of look around. You also have these blinds, which are nice. They do work as the... Um, uh, blackout blinds if you would like them to. You're going to notice two more USBs. <coughs> another massive window with those curtains, those shades right there. And you have another little window right there. So, you know, they really prioritize storage, outlets, and then window spacing. So I'm just loving. That's like the trifactor for my dream camper when it comes to a bunk model. This is going to be your typical booth dinette. I have it down in kind of the sleeping mode just to show you that there's even more sleeping, you know, capabilities there. But obviously, you know, that can be raised up. You got the little leg post right down there. You put it up. You're having some dinner, playing some cards, you know, doing what you got to do there. So one thing that I do like about Delterra that they go the extra mile on, you're going to notice you have storage underneath both the dinettes um, or both the booths. That is not rare, but what is rare is the fact that these are on, you know, some actual rollers there. So you don't have to worry about it just being a piece of wood clanking and banging around back there. You know, they actually took the time, took the money to, you know, put something in just a little bit nicer. You know, is it crazy? No. But does it help? You know, absolutely. Another place for just a little bit of light, a little bit of natural, you know, air circulation going on. Looks like we're replacing uh, the banister for this bad boy. Um, so that will look, you know, similar to these ones over here. So no worries. This is in that prepping stage. <coughs> Man, I got to get over this cough. All right, you got your your Everchill uh, refrigerator. This is a 12-volt refrigerator, I believe. It looks like it's going to be the 10.7 cubic foot. So what's nice about the 12 volts is that it runs off of, uh, you know, 12 volts. While you're driving down the road, you don't have to worry about anything when you're going through a tunnel you know, or anything of that nature. You don't have to worry about shutting off the propane. They're they're nice. They're nice. Might not be suitable for the extreme boondocker, but for 95% of people that camp, this is the way to go. It's a more residential refrigerator for you. And, you know, you'll keep your, your frozen stuff actually frozen, which is nice. You get your Magic Chef oven. Nothing too crazy there space-wise, but you can fit in, you know, a couple uh, DiGiorno's. You're good to go. Eating some good grub. Three stovetop burners. Got yourself a light, got yourself a fan. Looks like that is stuck a little bit. There you go. Magic Chef uh, microwave. <coughs> Up top here, this is going to be above your sink, above your storage. Uh, you got a couple drawers right here one, two, and three. Actually, I guess we'll show you down here first. One, two, and three. This is going to be your welcoming packet from east to west with some. Uh, important documentation but you got three of these bad boys 
Underneath the sink, you got some storage and you got some access to your plumbing, which is always nice. But check out that, a ton of storage there. Your stainless steel undermounted bowl. Plenty of space to do some dishes. And you got yourself a residential high-rise faucet, which you can whoosh, 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 hit, those dang, uh, hit those dishes from all angles. Up above, they gave you that black accent glass right here. So they blacked that out, which I think is looking sharp. But you got plenty of storage for whatever else you want to put in there. You know, some paper plates, paper bowls, whatever. But really good uses of the space, you know, right up above. And if you guys have any suggestions for things that I can change in these videos for next time, uh, I definitely take it into account. I want to sell some extra campers off these videos. And, you know, more importantly, I want to make good videos that you subscribe to and kind of join, you know, my little RV community. It's all about trying to make myself and my family better. And I would love to hear what I can do, you know, to do so. So definitely uh, don't be shy. Reach out. I encourage it. I want it to happen. So to the right of the shower here, you got a couple, uh, yeah, little cubbies. You got your Dometic toilet. You got the shower. Some pretty good, uh, some pretty good space in the shower. A little bit of natural light that goes through right there. Gives you a good little view of that. So right here, you got yourself a sink with some counter space. Again, got a couple outlets, some GFCIs. Got a little cubby right here. Some storage that goes up underneath. Access to the plumbing and just a little bit more storage that they snuck. And then here up above, you got not only the mirrors, but you got a little bit more storage, you know, right there. So that brings us into the bedroom. If you didn't notice before on the, the small introduction that I did before, this is a dual entry camper. So you got this one into the bedroom. You also have the one, you know, that's over in this uh, main area, right over to the left where I walked in. But um, yeah, dual entry, it's always nice to have that. But you got yourself a real good size bed. Underneath it, you got some good storage. can't make it out the door you do have an emergency exit so pull push and pop you guys are out an area that's backed for a tv along with the cable and the outlets you're also going to notice on both sides of the bed you have outlets and usb ports usb port and outlet you're also going to have i'll show you just on this side but uh, you're going to notice you know they're both the same so you got the little pull out cubby you got the little closet here to the left and to the right. Show you what that's all about. So something right here just for some knickknack items, you know, throw in a couple books, uh, maybe some reading glasses, you know, whatever you want to do there. This can be used as a little hanging closet. So, you know, weekends worth of clothes, no problem. And then up above, this goes all the way across. But, you know, you got some good storage, you know, right there. Now, I do also want to point out you have a little bit more storage. You know, right back here as well. Um, just a little tiny little cubby little nook for you. But yeah, I think that about wraps up the inside portion of this tour. I'll walk back through here. That way you can check that out. But again, this is the 2022 uh, East to West Delaterra 312BH. And if you guys have made it this far, if you can hit that like, subscribe button, maybe drop a comment and say hi, you know, I would greatly appreciate it. Hoping to get some fifth wheels in here to do here pretty soon. But, um, yeah, I think now I'll go ahead and do the outside version of the tour. You know, this will be much quicker. I just kind of zipped through this. Not too many people uh, really stick around for the outside. <coughs> but right here, you got marine-grade speakers. You got two of those, so you can get some music bumping inside, outside, both sides. You also got a couple outlets right here. Place for your cable hookup so you can put a TV, you know, on a table. You got your water heater. And you see you got a big old awning with the LED lights there underneath. Keep the, uh, you know, keep the light flowing, you know, at night. It is a dual axle RV, so that's nice. If you ever have, you know, one tire blow out, you got three others sitting there. It's a little bit safer, a little bit nicer, a little bit smoother. 
uh, two different types of entry steps. You got one, you got your aluminum ones. You know, those ones are going to be a little bit more flimsy. They're not for the, well, I don't know where I was going with that. They're not as sturdy, um, but you got these bad boys. You know, those are going to be your solid, your solid entry steps. You flip those up in the doorway for when you're traveling. One thing in particular that I enjoy about this camper is it does come with your exterior kitchen. So you got your LP Quick Connect right under here. You got yourself a little mini outdoor refrigerator with a little bit of space, you know, to store some fixings. You know, maybe if you're cooking up some burgers, <coughs> you know, you got a little kind of a working station right there. Also comes with this Suburban Elite Series griddle. So, you know, you're cooking on that in no time. <coughs> it's also going to come with a little spray port right here. So you uh, use a little Quick Connect hose and, you know, you're using uh, some water. On the back, you're going to see you got your spare tire and bumper. If you go on up, this customer opted to put on the Furion observation camera. So those are pretty awesome. They come with a four and a half inch screen that you suction cup right onto your windshield. That way, anytime you have the running lights on, you can turn that camera on and see what's going on behind you with some distance markers. So it's a safety thing. It's an argument preventer. You know, it just makes life a little bit easier. Uh, this unit does have these two slides here on this opposite side, both of which are eligible, eligible for slide toppers. Slide top, if you're not familiar with it, it's basically an awning that attaches right here to here, and it blocks out, you know, sun rays, tree branches, um, you know, any type of, uh, you know, something that might just fall down there, beat on there, the elements, basically. But, uh, yeah, they're nice to have. They run you about 700 bucks a piece. As we swing around, you're going to see your power cord. Uh, your plug-in is going to be right here, just above the black tank flush. You also have your sewer outlet connection waste water holding tank and your low point drain all in one convenient spot your fresh water city connection is right here and then right here you got your docking station so you got your battery disconnect oh now we'll shoot just unplug that got your battery disconnect right there you got yourself another little spray port you got yourself a couple outlets cable and satellite city water connection this is going to be the back end of your pass-through storage i really like how it's nice and clean they even put the laminate out here and you're going to notice you don't see any type of uh <coughs> you know the flooring the uh the framework there so that's always nice battery comes with the camper you know you're also going to get uh, on this bad boy you're gonna get yourself a power tongue jack got yourself a little light but makes life a little bit easier right there. <coughs> this is the other side of that pass-through storage. You also have your hand cranks if you guys ever need them. You can do all this manually as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comment or reach out to me. Again, my contact information will be down in the description. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys have a good day. See ya.